ancient history, Carthage, the largest ancient city in the Mediterranean, in five minutes. Carthage is an ancient city inside a region of nowadays Tunisia in North Africa. According to legend, Carthage was founded by Queen Elissa of Venice better known as Dido's in 813 BC. Originally the city was named Carthadasht, which means a new city. Meanwhile, the Greeks called it Carchidon and the Romans called it Carthago. The city was originally a small seaport visited by Phoenician merchants to supply and repair their boats. Little did they know. Carthage grew into the strongest and largest ancient city in the Mediterranean before the advent of the Romans. After the fall of the great Phoenician city, situated between Lebanon and Syria, by Alexander the Great in 332 BC, the tyrant, one of the Phoenician leaders, fled to Carthage with his wealth. Since then he founded Carthage as a new trading center replacing Venice. From a small coastal city, Carthage grows large become more majestic and having a large estate that makes it the richest city in the Mediterranean. The nobles lived in the palace, while the less prosperous lived in a simple but attractive home. Carthage Harbor is huge with 220 docks amid the harbor. There is a circular building decorated with Greek statues. Carthage ships set sail daily to all ports in the Mediterranean Sea and the Carthage Navy which is full of Carthage mercenaries are the strongest in the region. Of course, this makes Carthage safe and also contributes to the successful opening of new territory for trade and resources through conquest. Carthage expansion brought it into conflict with Rome. At that time Rome was still in a weaker position than Carthage so they posed no threat. This condition made the Carthage navy able to maintain trade agreements with Rome and Mediterranean for a long time. When Carthage took Sicily, Rome did not welcome it. Although, Rome does not have a navy but they have 300 ships equipped with ramps and corvus that can get closer to enemy ships so soldiers can start to infiltrate and kill everyone on board. Thus the Battle of the Sea which should be a naval warfare turned into a ground battle aboard the ship. The First Punic War in 264 BC to 241 BC was the first war between the two. With various ideas of military tactics, Rome was finally able to defeat Carthage in 241 BC. Carthage was forced to surrender Sicily to Rome and pay war reparations. After that, Carthage was involved in the Mercenary War from 241 BC to 237 BC. This war began when the Carthaginian mercenaries demanded payment of the debt that Carthage have for them. The war was finally won by the Carthage party because of the help from Hamilcar Barca. Both conflicts have made Carthage bankrupt and ruin their economy. When Rome occupied the Carthage colonies in Sardinia and Corsica, the Carthage could not do anything about it. Carthage tried to rise under the leadership of Hannibal, and then Carthage tried to conquer Spain by attacking the city of Saguntum, which is an ally of Rome. And what do you know? The Second Punic War happened. The Second Punic War occurred in 218 BC to 202 BC. In this war Hannibal invaded Italy from Spain by arranging its troop line above the Alps. Hannibal won every battle with the Romans. In 216 BC, he achieved his greatest victory at the Battle of Cannae. But due to his lack of troops and inadequate equipment, alas, his success was stopped here. He was defeated by Roman troops led by Scipio Africanus in the Battle of Zama in North Africa. In 202 BC and again, Carthage was required to pay the cost of war. Amidst its efforts to be able to pay the damages against Rome, Carthage also had to face the insults of his neighboring nation, Numidia. When they finally repay its debt against Rome, Carthage faces defeat in the war with Numidia, and Carthage was again required to pay compensation to Numidia. On the other hand, Carthage assumes that the conflict with Rome has been completed when the war debt has been paid. Not so with Rome who thought that Carthage was obligated to submit to Rome. One of the Roman senators named Cato suggested that Carthage should be destroyed. In 149 BC a command was commissioned for the Carthage to be destroyed and then rebuilt in an area deep inland. The Carthage nation rejected this and caused the Third Punic War in 149 BC to 146 BC. 
The Roman military under the leadership of Scipio Aemilianus surrounded Carthage for three years. Finally, at the end of this siege, Carthage was destroyed. That's it. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.